What's up guys? So we're here for the uh, here are my skis part of the what's in my stuff thing. We got five pairs of skis here. Uh, we'll start on this side right here. The very farthest one we got a pair of Atomic Punks. Those are my rock skis now. Those are formerly my park skis. And then we got the uh, Atomic Bent 90s. Those are now my new park skis. Um, after that, we have the Atomic... Oh my god, what are these? Hold on, let me check. The Atomic Infamous. Um, those are my all-mountain skis and would be like my big jumping skis. Then we have... Oh my god, I gotta go look at the name again. Well, it's an atomic Powski. Um, I'm gonna bring those inside and we can kind of go over to like dimensions and all that stuff. And then the last one is the atomic backlands and those are my AT skis. So we got AT powder, all mountain park and rock. Sweet, let's go inside and uh, we'll take a look at the skis a little closer. All right guys, so let's start off with my smallest pair of skis. These are the Atomic Punks 164. So just a slightly, slightly, well, it's about as tall as I am. Um, these are obviously originally a park ski. They're small on purpose, really good on rails, but I love riding a ski like this in moguls or even trees. Um, deeper snow is where that starts to be a problem. So, um, but yeah, let's take it overhead look at this pair. All right, as you can see guys, making our way from the back to the front, we got twin tip construction, super narrow waist. It's like 90 or so right here. Really fun, very playful ski. And it's the bindings are just, you know, whatever came with the ski that year. So some sort of Solomon product. All right guys, next one. Atomic Bet 90s. These are a little taller. These are 166. Um, not really a huge difference, but I'll kind of notice it a bit. Um, but as you can see, yep, a little taller. These are also a very narrow ski twin tip. Let's take a little overhead view of them. And here we got the Bet 90s from the top. Awesome artwork. Got no bindings on these yet because they're in that box. I'll show you what they are in just a second. Here's what the bindings look like. Solomon Stripe. So basically the same thing as before. Every piece is black, so I figured why show you all of it, but it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good on this colorway for sure. All right guys, next pair, we got some Atomic Infamouses, right? These are 171, so we're getting taller. These are my all mountain skis. Had these for a minute bindings, whatever, it's just standard Atomic Solomon bindings. Um, these, with them being a little longer, they're a little stiffer, they're a little heavier. Uh, really good for jumping bigger jumps. I wouldn't say like small rotations aren't the best. You can still do all your tricks on these. Um, if you're having a groomer day or even skiing in the springtime, it's nicer to have a ski like this. It's stiffer, so there's not much chatter, holds well with high speeds. Let's take a look at the art over the top. Pretty cool pattern. Like I said, standard bindings that just come with whatever the ski is. Bolts up here in the top. Nothing crazy on the bottom. Yeah, decent ski. If you can only pick one pair, that's actually not a bad one for sure. All right guys, next pair of skis. So these are the Atomic Blog. It's a powder ski from Back in the day, um, as you can see, these ones are much taller, much wider. Got some really cool shape to them. This is Powski. Um, I have these with regular marker bindings on here. Um, and these are just my on resort powder day skis. Um, as you can see, they got a little bit of looseness and chatter. So they're really fun when you're just, you know, 
on piece getting on your way to powder, but then they react really well to powder with, with how loose and how big they are. So definitely a cool one. Let's check the graphic out over time. So here's the blog from overhead. Got the marker bindings. Those are some OG marker bindings. Love that kind of natural wood stuff and ski for Sarah if y'all y'all remember. Remember her rest in peace, Sarah. Nice tip and tail going up and down here. Definitely a classic Powski. All right, last pair. We got the AT skis. The this is the Atomic Backland. There you go. Uh, directional ski bindings are actually set a little more back. Um, and they got some really cool bindings on them for sure. Let's uh, get a little close up of them. Oh, well, actually, let's do the overhead, then we'll get the close up of the bindings. All right, so overhead here, get a look at weird kind of construction of the bindings, that interesting directional shape. The fronts are shaped kind of like boats, so they scoop a little bit. And as you can see, these are AT bindings, so I can pop the toes off and it reveals the pin tech right here. So, right. if I take the toe off all the way, you can see it's got the pin tech toe for climbing. And then the back, obviously, you know, this goes flat if you lock it in place. I'm not actually going to do that because I only got one hand. Um, but that's what the bindings do. So they allow you to basically, uh, the heel will come off once the boot's in there and then it'll make it so you can raise your heel up while your, <clears throat> while your toes are attached. And with skins on the bottom, it lets you scurry up mountains. So that's what AT skiing is. Um, anyways, that was kind of a weird one. I did want to show you guys that. I've been trying to put out content every day. I'm going to see how long I can do that for. Tomorrow, I'm going up to Winter Park. Uh, I'm going to go up to the Foot Lab, and uh, we're going to get some work done on the boots, maybe a new pair of boots. And I'm also going to go up there to get uh, my new skis mounted. So if you guys enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Uh, it all really helps out a bunch. And we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.